Hey guys, this is Ben. I'm traveling in New York for just three days and I want to show you around how we can make the best out of it and be the fun solo traveler at the same time. I am here at the American Museum of Natural History. Here it holds more than 33 million of specimens ranging from dinosaurs, plants, fossils and so many more. Now time is 3.45 and this place goes at 5.45. I only got two hours and because I don't know Ben Stiller, I better run. They say don't be afraid to interact with all these artifacts because you never know when they will come alive. This one, camera shy. Bess, this one turn her head around. Right opposite the Natural Museum is Central Park. Now this is what I call as a typical Angkor Park because you know people are sitting down on the grass, they are doing whatever they want and it's generally a very very carefree place and people are very happy. Uh, this place is very cooling and uh, I enjoy environing this place and although I'm, it's getting late and I'm getting very tired, I've been walking around for an hour not knowing where I'm going so I'm just gonna sit my ass down and walk the park go by. in the subway of US, you're probably gonna meet someone that is quite out of the ordinary. Now the reason why I haven't been seeing any is because I am that someone. New York is very open about what they say as according to design. Hi guys, so one hour away from New York City, you will arrive at a Woodbury Premium Outlet. So here you'll get tons of brands here, big brands, at a very slash price. I have been working here for around 4 hours and these are the looks that I got, but actually none of them are for me. Now one great tip is that you can use your PA card and your Safra card to get further discount. Don't say I never tell you. Okay guys, I know you're gonna be thinking I'm bullshitting, but look, Safra is right here. That's why we are connected. Hi guys, I'm actually joined by three very beautiful Japanese ladies who just happened to be sitting with me. Well, we bought this uh, pretzel from this random place. Yeah. Guys, I shared with them, it's not so good. Is it good? No. Yeah, the Japanese Yamasaki bread is so much better. <laughs> Finally walking up the Brooklyn Bridge. Now as you can see both sides of the bridge is with traffic mm -hmm. and they built the, traf the, 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 the bridge here in the middle so that people can walk. Now the best time they say is to come during the sunset which has like evolving skies. Apparently that is not happening for me. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait and see how it goes. I am standing right in the middle of the Brooklyn Bridge. Now this bridge connects both the Manhattan city and also the Brooklyn city by the 2 km spread that was built back in the 1800s. in I am still at the Brooklyn Bridge. I think I can never see the end of it but despite so, the lights at the Brooklyn Bridge are out, the skyline lights are also out as you can see from the behind and it's a great time for me to find someone who can take a decent photo of me. Third and final day in New York. Uh, weather's not so good, it's been raining since last night. Uh, my plan was actually to go to the Statue of Liberty and also to the Empire State but I think uh, I'm gonna switch my plan and go to somewhere else and make the best out of today. Mm. 
Well, despite the weather, I decided to go up to the top of the rock. Now, as you can see, the lead has nobody because nobody wants to go at this time. And I'm going up to the 67th story. Let's see how it goes. I hope the view is stunning. I'm finally at the top of the rock and the view is absolutely gorgeous. If you see really closely, and I'm gonna zoom in, you will get to see the Statue of Liberty right there. Oh wow, she looks small. Right opposite Trump Tower and I got one thing to say, make America great again. <laughs> 